Hi guys, I'm Brandon Ayers from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital. A couple of years ago, I published a video on how to put a tenon nylon suture in the cornea. That video has become one of my most popular videos on YouTube. And as you guys know, whatever goes in must come out. So I thought it would be great to make a video about how to take out a suture from the cornea because it's not so easy. There's two things that I carry around with me all day in the office. One is a sharp blade, and I can use that sharp blade to cut stitches in the cornea. The second thing that I carry with me is a jeweler's forcep. I also have a tying forcep. I really don't need both. I don't know why I have both, but I do. I think it's because I'm afraid if I drop my jeweler's forcep, I've got my back up just in case. The basic steps for taking out a corneal suture, number one, that suture gets buried in the corneal epithelium. So you have to use the sharp blade or maybe the, the sharp edge of a 25 or 27 gauge needle to go under the epithelium and cut the stitch. So let's see what this looks like at the slit lamp. Here we have a patient who needs a couple of interrupted sutures removed. I've got my sharp blade in hand. We're gonna carefully go under the epithelium and just nick the suture till it gaps. The second step for removing this stitch is take the dull side of the needle or the dull side of the blade and flip the suture up and out of the epithelium. That way it's sticking up like a tail and you can grab it with a jeweler's forcep. So now I'm using the dull side of the cutting blade and we're just flipping the suture up so it's sticking out of the epithelium. The third important step is grab the suture and quickly pull it out of the cornea. You don't want to pull slowly. If you pull slowly, it'll begin to move the eye and patients can feel that and they get very nervous and uncomfortable. Quickly grab the suture, pull it out real quick, like taking a Band-Aid off. So here's that technique on our patient. We're using our tying force up here and I'm going to grab onto the end of the suture and watch my hands. We're going to quickly flick that suture out. The patient doesn't even know what happened. So now we'll go back and we'll take another suture out. We'll use the sharp blade once again to nick the suture and then lift it up out of the epithelium. And watch once again, we're gonna grab onto the suture and then with a quick flick of the wrist, remove the suture from the wound. And here you see the entire suture came out, including the knot. Taking out an interrupted stitch is one thing. You only have to do one or two at a time, and if you get tired of doing it, you can just leave the rest for later. But what if that stitch is a running stitch? Once a running suture gets loose, you really should take out the entire thing. If you only take out the loose section, the remaining suture is just going to slowly get loose and unravel, and in two or three weeks, that's going to be loose. Then you've left your patient with a lot of irritation and the potential for infection. So you got to remove the whole running once that running is loose. So let's take a look at this at the slit lamp. Here's a patient with a broken running stitch and it's broken in a few different spots. Now remember the suture goes through the stroma, over the epithelium, then through the stroma and over the epithelium over and over again. So what you're gonna wanna do is use the sharp part of your needle or cutting blade and cut about every other over portion of the suture. Then loosen up the middle and pull it out. So you need to go around the cornea several times cutting and loosening these stitches. This is what it looks like when you try and pull too much suture at one time. I should have cut that stitch one more time in the middle and pulled it out in two pieces. Once again, we're just cutting with the cutting blade and then loosening the suture in between the two cut areas. We can then go back with our jeweler's forcep or tying forcep and cut that segment out. So you got to plan about 10 or 15 minutes for taking out these runnings. And I usually leave the knot, which is typically at about 12 o'clock, for last. So here you see again, we've cut with the cutting blade the superficial portion of the sutures and then loosened in between. We'll do this a couple times, then come back with our jeweler's forcep and remove that section of the suture. So we're almost done with this patient. We've got one more section to remove, and then we'll have to deal with the area where the knot is. The knots on these are typically at 12 o'clock, and you don't want to pull the knot through the graft hose junction. And that's true whether it's a running or an interrupted suture for fear of opening the graft hose junction. Using that same technique we learned, we'll grab the suture and quickly pull it out. And even though the suture broke, we'll consider it gone. So that's how you take out a corneal suture. Not so bad, really. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Brandon Ayers from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital. I hope you found this interesting and you can apply it to your own patients. Thanks for watching.